Hello, welcome to Fret Play. In today's video, we will take a look at open guitar chords. Open guitar chords uses both fretted strings and open strings. And because of these, they have a full ringing sound. You know, there are thousands of music out there that uses this simple chords you are about to learn. Well, it's likely that you've heard the terms major and minor chords being used by musicians when talking about chords. So as we progress, you'll be able to tell the difference between the major and the minor chords. And you'll also be able to hear how different chords offer different emotions for your music. So in music, uh, it's being said the major chords are happy sounding chords and the minor chords are sad sounding chords. So in this video, I'm going to show you open chords. Then we will later look at the minor chord as well and other variations or other chords that you need to know. So looking at how these chords are fingered, it's better for you to think of them as a ship so that they will be very easily for you to memorize them as you play this open chord. So now let's take a look at the open major chords. As we talked about in the previous video, the finger numbering. This being your first, your second, your third, and your fourth, and your thumb. First of all, we will start with the E major open chord. So with the E major open chord, your first finger has to be on the third string first fret. Then your second finger has to be on the fifth string second fret. Then your third finger will be on the fourth string second fret. So this is how it should look like. So the E major chord make use of all the six strings. So you strum from the, the sixth to the first string. And this is your beautiful open E major chord. So if you apply the tips that I gave to you in the previous video, it will be very easy for you to fret or play this chord. Now let's try the A major open position chord. Now with the A major open position chord, the high E string is played open. The fourth finger frets the B string at the second fret. The third finger also fret the G string at the second fret and the second finger so here it is and the A string or the fifth string is played open With the A major open position chord, we do not play the sixth or the low E string. So we have to mute this sixth string to avoid its ringing when we play the A major chord. So we will start strumming from the fifth string to the first string. Now let's take a look at the D major chord. Your second finger, phase the second, fret the high E string at second fret. This is the high E, and this is the second fret. Then your third finger, fret the B string at the third fret. So this is your third finger, this is the B string at third fret 
then your first finger fret the G string at the second fret so you have this shape then the D string is played open so this D string over here will be played open the low E and the A strings are not played in other ways they are not part of the E major open position chord so we will start our strumming from the fourth string to the first string G major open position chord with a D major open position chord your third finger frets the high E string at third fret so this is our third finger we'll fret the high E string at third fret this is the high E and this is the third fret and this is our third finger one two three three so this is our third finger the B string is played open the G string is also played open the D string likewise is also played open then the first finger which is this one will fret the A string at the second fret this is the A string this sorry this is the A string but this is the A string or the fifth one so our first finger fret will fret the A string at second fret this is our second fret then the second finger will fret the low E string at third fret and this is how it looks like And the G major open position chord uses all the six strings. So we will strum from the sixth to the first string. This is your C major open position chord. The C major open position chord, the high E string, is played open. Your first finger fret the B string at first fret or the second string. The G string is played open. Your second finger fret the fourth string at the second fret. Your third finger fret the fifth string at third fret. Low E string is not played, so we have to mute it. So you start strumming from the fifth string to the first string. So now let me give you a tip for muting the E and the A string when not in used or when playing a chord. That does not make use of the E and the A string. For example, when you are playing the C major chord, you realize as a beginner, you accidentally hit the E string or the E notes when playing the C major chord. So you have to use your third finger you push it a little bit up make sure your third finger touches the E string you see when it touches it it's muted without touching it so you, you you stretch a bit or you move upwards a little so that your third finger will 
attach the E string. So even if you accidentally hit it, it's being muted. Without muting, here's how it sounds. Then muting it. When you are playing the A major chord, you also don't play the E string or the E notes, so you have to mute it. But in this case, I will show you how to use your thumb to mute the E string or the E notes. So when you mute it, then you play your A major chord. Even if you accidentally hit the sixth string, it's being muted. So these are my tips for muting the E and the A string when not in use. You should take enough time to practice this open position chord shape before you make an attempt of changing between like Practicing this open position major chords over time with patience will make it easy for you to change between these chords. So patience is the key over here. You have to take your time and practice this open position chords and over time a finger memory will set in. So it's all about time and patience. Let me hear you at the comment section if this lesson was helpful to you. In the next video, in the next video, we will take a look at the open minor position chords. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.